Hey guys, Dan Carr here. Uh, we're going to do an unboxing of the 7D Mark II right now. Now, a uh, pretty exciting camera from Canon, 20 megapixels, 10 frames a second, magnesium alloy body, 65 uh, point autofocus system. And uh, yeah, it's been about five years since the original 7D came out, so a lot of things have moved along. And uh, it's got some other cool features built in GPS and things like that. No Wi-Fi, but we'll forgive them that one. Um, yeah, let's take a look inside and see what there is. I don't think this will take too long. There's not normally too much in these camera boxes. Uh, we've got the disc with the DPP software on. Uh, funnily enough, they've included a version of DPP that doesn't actually work with 7D RAW files, so that's kind of useless. Uh, manuals and warranty information, the usual stuff. Um, what have we got here? This is USB cable. Um, actually, uh, USB 3 cable, this is the first Canon camera uh, DSLR to have USB 3. And interestingly as well, we have this port protector. So uh, this is uh, something that manufacturers, third-party manufacturers, have been making for DSLRs for a while, is a little attachment that goes on the side to stop you damaging and pulling out the plugs that you pop in the side there. So the um, mini HDMI ports are notoriously easy to damage if you... Uh, bend them or anything like that. So this is designed to, to prevent that, to prevent things being pulled out when you don't want them to. It's pretty cool that they're including that now. That's one less thing to have to buy, especially for people that are shooting video. Uh, let's cut through all the boring stuff first. Yep, camera strap. Something I will probably leave in the plastic bag and never use. I uh, prefer to use uh, Peak Designs camera straps, little black ones that are a little bit more discreet. Um, we've got the same charger, I think, from the 5D Mark III and all that kind of stuff. It looks the same to me. Now, the batteries are actually different. Um, they had the LPE6 before, and this is the new one. Let me just open this up. I, think. I actually forget what it's called. It's the LPE6, and then there's some sort of designation on the end of it. Um, I wonder if it'll tell us if I... If I take this off right here, LPE6N this is. So uh, physically the same size, same shape, they're backwards compatible. I think this has a slightly higher capacity, but nothing too crazy. Now here is the camera on this side. And there we go, 7D Mark II. So, um, yeah, I mean, it feels like my initial impression is it feels like a 5D Mark III, actually, which is the camera that I'm using uh, for the most part at the moment. Um, of course, they both have magnesium alloy bodies, so they're similar in uh, weight. They're certainly similar in size. And now we have the uh, MFN button on this front here as well. So um, that's the sort of user assignable button, which has been on the 5D Mark III as well. So it's a very familiar setup. Um, the biggest addition actually is this little lever right here. Um, I think that's customizable, so we'll have to see what function I decide to add to it. But there we go, 7D Mark II. Uh, definitely uh, look for the links below this video and there'll be some articles on the website. Um, I'm going to do a whole ton of content on this because this is a going to be a really popular camera. It's an important camera in Canon's lineup. Um, I'm really interested to try it out. So there will be tons of uh, articles about this and I'll pop the links uh, below the video if you're watching this on YouTube. So thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe to the channel as well. Before you go guys, I almost forgot to try out the speed of this thing. So I've popped the battery in there now and I just thought it'd be kind of fun to hear this rattle some shots off. So here we go. Yeah, I think that's enough. You get the idea. <laughs>